We all dream of achieving our goals, but how can we do it? Sometimes it can be really difficult to make a plan and think of all the things that can help us and all the obstacles standing in our way. Growing any idea into reality requires a good understanding of why it might work and why it might fail. It also requires a sensible assessment of how the idea sits in the external environment. What else is out there that could help your idea grow or that could get in the way? What are your individual or organizational capabilities? Taking all the factors that influence an idea into account will help you to organize the things you can control and the things you can't. Strengths and weaknesses, opportunities and threats, or SWOT for short. A SWOT analysis provides a useful framework to test your idea and develop a better understanding of what makes it special. You can do this for specific projects, industries or even people. Pablo works for a big NGO that needs to quickly design a communications plan following a natural disaster in Pakistan. He knows how to make sense of all the research and statistics about the situation, but his main aim is to regain the trust of the people he's working for. He needs to ensure their safety and maintain his organization's operations in the affected areas. He thinks of the best way to plan what he needs to do and who he needs to ask for help. Pablo thinks he could start by identifying all the factors that will help his organization and all the obstacles that will make his task more difficult. He begins with the strengths, the elements of his organization that make them particularly well-placed to respond to the crisis. On the other hand, he needs to acknowledge the organization's weaknesses. These weaknesses could make Pablo fail in what he and his organization are trying to do. By doing this, Pablo can avoid ideas that could expose weaknesses and suggest ways to improve and manage them. He then moves on to the opportunities that might arise in the external environment. The organization could take advantage of these opportunities to achieve better results in the future. Lastly, Pablo takes note of all the possible threats to his operation. What's happening around them that could weaken their efforts? This way, he can figure out how the organization can use its strengths most effectively. With the SWOT tool, Pablo was able to quickly make sense of a challenging environment and review all the different elements that influence his organization's strategic approach to achieve impact. He has a broad view of the opportunities he could take advantage of and the threats he will have to deal with. He can now propose a proactive and effective communications plan that makes the most of the strengths of the organization and reduces its weaknesses.